I'm David Ditzler, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Shapeoko CNC milling machine with the Quiet Cut DC Spindle from Inventables. The purpose of this video is to show you how to connect the Quiet Cut Spindle to the rest of the electronics needed for this upgrade. Before we get started with the build, you're going to need a few items from Inventables to complete the upgrade. These include a 48 volt DC power supply, a quiet cut spindle, an isolated relay circuit, a power cord, and a speed controller. Additionally, you will also need a few more items such as some two conductor wire, heat shrink tubing or crimp connectors, and some header pins and a power strip. A few standard tools such as a soldering iron and solder, wire stripper, wire cutter, screwdrivers, and a multimeter will come in handy as well. As an overview, the 48 volt power supply will send power to the speed controller. The speed controller will send power to the spindle. The spindle will be turned on and off via standard G-code commands in the software. For this to happen, we need a relay, so when the software tells the Arduino and the G-Shield to start the spindle, the relay will pass the power from the speed controller to the spindle. Now that we have the big picture, let's dig in and get to work. The first step is to extend the motor wires to the spindle. Measure how long you want the wires, making sure to leave room for them to pass through the drag chain and get to where you will mount the rest of the electronics. I like to solder on the new wire and secure with heat shrink for a solid connection. The next step is to wire the relay to the G-Shield. To do this, locate the three pins needed on the Arduino so you know where to connect the wire. The pins needed are positive 5 volts, ground, and a digital signal pin called D12. Once these are located, you can use some header pins and solder them onto the G-Shield. This will give you easy access to the pins once the G-Shield is mounted to the Arduino. Use the jumper wires that were included with the relay to hook them up. There are some small jumpers included with the relay that you'll need to attach. These jumpers join the isolated sections of the relay circuit together to make the wiring simpler for this build. Next, check the input voltage switch of the 48 volt power supply and set it to your local voltage. I had to switch mine to 110 volts. Next, cut off the end of a power cord and wire it up to the power supply. In the US, green is earth, white is neutral, and black is load. Cut a length of two conductor wire to wire the output side of the power supply to the speed controller. On this power supply, there are three terminals, each for positive and negative, so it doesn't matter which ones you use, as long as the polarity is correct. I like to insert the wires on the left side of the screw so when you tighten the screw it tends to pull the wires into the terminal instead of pushing them out. The two conductor wire carrying the 48 volts from the power supply needs to be connected to the speed controller. Use the terminal block labeled AC and DC in. The circuitry on the speed controller doesn't care about the polarity for the input. At this time you should also connect the negative side of the spindle motor to the negative terminal on the output of the speed controller. Next step is to wire the outputs from the relay. On the terminal block located on the relay, we're going to use the two normally closed contacts. This means that when a relay is not powered and in its normal state, the two contacts are connected and the circuit closed. We're going to wire the positive lead to the spindle motor on one terminal and the positive output from the speed controller on the other. At this point, all of the connections should be made. The next step is to test our work. Please make sure that your quiet cut spindle is securely mounted. The collet is tight and does not have a cutting bit installed. Also make sure that your 48 volt power supply for the speed controller and the 24 volt power supply for the Arduino and G-Shield are connected to the same power strip. This way with one switch you can power up both devices at once. Turn the potentiometer connected to the speed controller to the middle position. Then connect a USB cable from the G-Shield to the computer. Switch on the power strip to power up the system. The 48 volt power supply will have a green light when it is powered. You should also see a red light located on the isolated relay circuit board. Now fire up Universal G-Code Sender and connect to the machine. 
Once connected, you should be able to jog the machine on one axis to confirm the computer is connected. After that, switch to the Commands tab and type M03 and press Enter to start the spindle, and M05 and Enter to stop the spindle. Once the spindle is turned on, you should be able to adjust the potentiometer to change the speed of the spindle. I think you're really going to enjoy this upgrade to your Shape Oko. Having a quiet spindle, along with the increased accuracy, and being able to use a variety of different size cutting bits really makes a huge difference. Thank you for checking out this upgrade video, and be sure to leave a comment if you found it useful and you'd like to see more upgrade videos like this in the future.